Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to do a little walking tour of the Miami World Center area of downtown Miami. This is a huge development, a $6 billion development spanning 27 acres and 10 blocks. You got over 11,000 residential units going up. You got a lot of office space, a lot of retail space. Rumors are Apple is building a store there. So we're gonna walk around. We might even tour an apartment unit which we saw doing the Wynwood walking tour one. Super cool apartment, but really expensive. So now we're gonna go see what the developments here are going for. We're walking to our first stop, but I wanna do a quick shout out to Gail Miami Hotel and Residences. It's a 51 story tower with 160 residences, consisting of studios all the way up to two bedroom. And of course it is a hotel. It is really nice that they added this shaded kind of walkway. Sidewalk is over there, but you can also walk right here. There's some seating. All right, our first stop is 600 Miami World Center. It of course does not exist yet. If I take you over the wall, construction is well underway. They actually started recently. March 2024 is when they broke ground. It's gonna be a 32 story building, 606 residences, studio up to a two bedroom, and it is already sold out. But check out the active construction site this morning. No shortage of activity this morning at 600 Miami World Center. All right, so now we're gonna walk a little bit through this walkway, which is where a lot of the retail space is gonna be. We're gonna talk about that big glass structure right over there. It says Lucky Strike. That's one of the tenants being housed there. You can see Sephora, Lululemon, and Ray-Ban are now open. But we're gonna actually walk right through here. Active construction site to my left. Retail space already open to my right, except for Maple and Ash. So this is rumored to be opening 2025. The signage has not been updated. 2024 is what it says. They have locations in Chicago and Scottsdale. We've got Ray-Ban, they've been open for quite some time now. Sephora is open. You can see a little bit over here. That right there, my friends, we're gonna get closer in a bit, is going to be the future Apple store. It is top secret, it's not public information, but there are reports and everything points to an Apple store moving here soon. And this is gonna be like a little town square right here where the construction is ongoing. Of course, we have Lululemon that is also open. We're now standing in front of the 80,000 square foot glass structure known as the Jewel Box. Here you're gonna have a lot of the retail and entertainment space. Over on the rooftop, we're gonna have a VO1 Tequila, which is a business venture by Nick Jonas himself. That's gonna be all the way up there. And menswear designer, John Barbados. So they're gonna open a nice little rooftop tequila bar somewhere up there. You're gonna have great views of all the other skyscrapers here looking down at the town square and the future Apple store. Last time I came here, it wasn't this closed off. So they're really making significant progress on the town square area as well as the Apple store because also last time I came here, it didn't look this enclosed. There was a lot of opening spaces. They were still applying the glass, the windows, uh, but I think they might be done with that portion. What's your name? Joel. You'll find, you'll find it when the car Apple Store, huh? All right. No Apple Store. You got the wrong car. All right, well, there you have it. Top secret Apple Store getting upset that I am uh, recording. Guys, this is one thing I want to highlight. Last time I came here, security also gave me an issue with recording, specifically around the walkway we were just at and the Apple Store that's coming here. It's like. <laughs> It's like top secret, I don't know why. Apple store, like, come on Apple, why are you so secretive about like opening a store? You have a lot of locations, other places kind of put up their business banner ahead of time, you know, to build hype, you know, we're coming to your neighborhood. But Apple, it's like no signage whatsoever that says Apple store. It's just like a street address and then some fencing around it. So it uh, looks like I upset someone who was recording me as well. But you know, we're gonna keep it moving. One of the businesses coming soon, just across the street from the Jewel Box, is the Container Store. A lot of excitement around that nowadays. Adulting is fun. All right, we're walking through one of the many areas that you can cut through between buildings. You can see the Paramount Miami Tower up there. We're gonna talk about that in a bit. But we're gonna walk over here because there's something interesting I wanna show you guys. First of all, this is a preview of the Museum of Ice Cream that is coming here, September 6th is their opening day. They're doing the final touches right now. Looks like there's also going to be a bookstore coming to Miami World Center and a club studio fitness center as well. Looks like a large space for that. 
we look inside there really quick as we pass by. Also coming to Miami World Center is The Spot Barbershop. It's a really cool, unique barbershop. They have a lot of locations here in South Florida. It's really nice that they've managed to come over here and secure a massive development and be part of it. So best of luck to them. Really quick, I want to talk about this massive 6,500 pound globe. It is from the 1930s, specifically in 1934. It was commissioned by Pan American Airways and used at their old terminal at Dinner Key, which is in Coconut Grove. That site, by the way, is now the Miami City Hall. After its use there, it was moved to the old Miami Science Museum, also in Coconut Grove, where it stayed for 55 years until that place closed in 2015. It is now the Frost Science Museum here in downtown Miami. However, it wasn't moved there. Instead, it was restored and eventually brought out of retirement to be put here in Miami World Center. I honestly think it's a nice touch to the area because you can walk in from any direction and this will be the centerpiece right here for you to enjoy. And there's a plaque there informing people of its history. Anyway, we're walking to a less busy side of Miami World Center. We can see BurgerFi is coming soon. Anthony's Cold Fire Pizza and Wings also coming soon. All right, the first development we're gonna talk about is Paramount Miami. This opened in 2019. It is a 700 foot tall tower with 569 units. It's already got a lot of retail space coming at the ground level. It's got that bridge going for it, which is a pedestrian walkway. You can see right over there. It connects to more amenities like the pools. Over on this side, there's also a parking garage right there that you can see. Amenities are crazy. They have a resort style pool, tennis courts, soccer field, dog park, movie theater, recording studio, just to name a few. Units here, by the way, range from about half a million dollars to $8.9 million. And what's unique about this, there are 13,000 LED panels that light up at night. And they've been used actually for a lot of important, significant events. Fourth of July, for example, you'll have the American flag waving on the other side. It is absolutely crazy. You can see it from anywhere in the distance. So you can be driving on the highway, you know, somewhere not in Miami, and you will see that building light up in the night sky. All right, our next development is right across the street from the future Apple store. Stay with me, guys. Future Apple Store. This is the Miami World Tower. One, there's gonna be more towers like it. I like it. It looks like a, a little flame going across the facade. Anyways, it is topped off completely. That is 52 stories, 565 residences. It is technically still in the construction with completion expected later this year. You're looking at 3,000 plus square feet of retail space somewhere at the ground level, a 400 space parking garage which we can see towards the backside of it right over there. Okay, walking near the retail and entertainment space underneath Paramount Miami, the big tower up there. This is a clothing store called Free People, right next to Museum of Ice Cream. Really nice, check that out. Nice AC, <laughs> it's really hot outside. So this is Savage Fenty by Rihanna, coming soon to Miami World Center. It goes without saying, folks living at Paramount have a lot of amenities, not just in the building, but retail at the bottom and a nice sweet Apple store right across the street. All right, our next site is called Coba, or at least it is known now as Flow. I believe that company partnered with it or purchased the naming rights, but that is a signage out front. It says Flow. The tower on the left right over here was completed in 2019. And fun fact, this is the first tower that was completed in the Miami World Center development area. It is a 43-story tower with 444 units. The podium right behind it was also completed. And then this tower came later on and they just connected the two. Uh, it is the same property, by the way. So you got 400 units here and 400 units here as well. This one, it looks completed, but I saw some construction workers actively working, not just at ground level, but over by the windows, giving it a little wash. Uh, so this is not open yet, but this, like I mentioned, opened in 2019. So while everybody as you guys heard by the loud noise, is actively building this morning. This construction site is vacant. There is nobody here. There's, cranes are still up. All the equipment has been left, but there is absolutely nobody working in this site right now. And I'll tell you why. So this is gonna be the Legacy Hotel and Residences. It's gonna be a 50 story tower. As you can see, it has not topped out yet. It's gonna have 310 short-term rental units and 219 hotel rooms. Amenities include a medical and wellness center, which we have not heard yet in Miami World Center. The condo sold out during the pandemic for a total of estimated $160 million. That is according to the real deal. 
Now there is some drama aspect to it because in March work had to be stopped because the plumbing and electrical components were built incorrectly. And uh, rather than continuing construction, it was good that they found out where they're at so they can stop. Uh, but that's because plans had changed on some of the floors. It was gonna be a condo, then it was gonna be a hotel, and then ultimately they decided office space for those specific floors. So the plumbing and electrical was already built for something else like a condo or a hotel. So work has been stopped since March while they uh, go through all the plans and kind of figure out where they're gonna go with this next because they obviously cannot continue building if they've got the plans wrong. So I'm looking at this render of what may be coming to this area soon. You've already got Miami World Tower right over here. It looks like they can fit two more towers in this space that we see here. One in a different orientation and then the one closest to me, which will be the one on the left, uh, in the same position as you have the first tower. So as the sign implies, Miami World Towers will not just be one tower, but perhaps several. By the way, this parking lot right here where the construction workers are is a reminder to me of what this space used to be. None of this was here maybe 10 years ago. Like I said, Miami World Center really started going in 2019. So before that, this was all just parking spaces for the most part. And it looks like there's still room for growth here at Miami World Center. This very large empty lot, by the way, this is the old Miami Arena. Right over here, it's a massive space. You could easily fit multiple developments here, mixed use developments especially. And by the way, Brightline's uh, Miami Central Station is just back over there. By the way, a 450 square foot studio in the first tower, the 2019 tower that opened first on the left side, uh, starts at 2,369. Absolutely crazy. But honestly, compared to Wynwood, we saw these high prices. I don't think that's too bad, especially in Miami World Center. So if anything, you're getting a lot of value here versus Wynwood. You've got Brightline right over there. You've got the Metro Rail, Metro Mover nearby as well. You've got uh, Tri-Rail just opened up their uh, section right over here. So you got a lot of connectivity. And then you're just within walking distance from all of the retail space I told you about. The Kaseya Center, if you want to go see concerts or sporting events, is literally just walking distance. So what they're asking for in studio prices, even though it is a small uh, living space, of course it is a studio, I think that is worth it because of the area that you're in that is still growing to this very moment. We're seeing and hearing all of the active construction. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a nice view from here. We're gonna transition to Google Maps Street View. You know I love doing that in my videos, showing you back in time what used to be in this area. And it's gonna blow your mind, hopefully. So right next to those twin towers that I told you guys about, Coba or Flow, as it is uh, referred to as today, is the Crosby. We're at 601 North Miami Avenue. This is a 33-story tower with 450 residences. Units here start at $450,000. By the way, the name is inspired by Crosby Street in Soho, New York. Active construction site, if I can read, they are at either 28th or 29th floor. They're numbered here, so I'm trying to read all the way up there. We are now heading to the site of the biggest development, aside from the Waldorf Astoria, that is on the literal outskirts of Miami World Center. So we see here the Crosby, right next to it is Ocon Tower. That is going to be a whopping 70 stories, 902 feet tall. We're gonna get a little close up on the other side. This is Ocon Tower, it's gonna be a condo hotel, 163 residences, 236 short-term rental units, and 316 hotel rooms. Again, active construction site, as you guys see here. Very loud. The sales gallery, by the way, is literally just across the development. So what better way to show potential uh, clients or tenants the development progress? Because the Waldorf story is just a block away, so you can't really show them from the sales gallery just by looking outside, you have to go one block over. But they do a great job in their sales gallery. If you haven't seen my video on the Waldorf Astoria, it is amazing what they are doing at that sales gallery. It's so immersive. But anyway, Ocon Tower is gonna be a condo slash hotel. And it's also going to have 64,000 square feet of class A office space. By the way, it's 902 foot height. It's just shy of being considered a super tall, which is somewhere in the 970, 980 feet. Waldorf Astoria will be a super tall at 1,049 feet, uh, which is the maximum allowed by the FAA for this downtown area. But this 
is going to absolutely stand out in the downtown skyline, no doubt. 902 feet. For example, Paramount, the first one we saw with the LEDs on the side, is uh, 700 feet tall. So talk about 202 feet taller here for the Ocon Tower. All right, we're heading downstairs to get the key because it's not like the other place in Wynwood where you just go up and unlock with your phone. We actually have to pick up the key. So we're going right back down. Looks like they have several penthouses here. We're going to be on the 11th floor when we go get the key. So unfortunately, we could not tour Bezel, Miami. This is a residential unit completed in 2021. I uh, was honest and upfront that I had to make a video and uh, they referred to me to contact the leasing agent or the property manager is what they told me. So we don't have time for that. So I won't be able to give you guys a tour. But from what they told me, it has 434 units. There's only two available. It's 43 stories. It's for lease starting at $3,195 a month for a 1-1, 734 square feet. That's the one I was supposed to tour. Anyway, they have a studio as high as the 43rd floor, which is the highest you can go for $3,825 a month. This is yet another hotel, a Netherlands-based hotel called Citizen M. It has 351 rooms. They have locations in Brickell and soon enough in South Beach, just by Lincoln Road, there's a rooftop pool with views of the arena, which is directly across our last, uh, the remnants of the parking lots that once took over the downtown area here. You can see it's a rarity nowadays. And we have made it back to where we started, or at least close to where we started the video, where you see all of the retail stores here. The uh, Apple store is about to come into view once again. Don't want to show that. And then the Miami World Tower right over here. So we're back. All right, guys, what did you think about Miami World Center? Again, it is 27 acres, 10 city blocks, $6 billion investment into all of these developments. You got hotels, you got offices, you got retail, restaurants, entertainment, condos, uh, all of it in a mixed use kind of development. It is a massive, massive undertaking happening here in the downtown Miami area. Like I said, it was just parking lots, just parking lots for the most part. And now we're seeing high rises come out of that. And I think it's pretty cool. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell button. If you're new here, you can notify each time I upload a new video. Leave a comment on what you think about Miami World Center. And somewhere on this video, you'll see a pop-up for Wynwood developments that I made a video of. That was my last video. Wynwood is also a fast growing neighborhood in Miami. It's got uh, from like warehouses painted with graffiti murals. It was the arts district. Now it's turning into something else with uh, condos and hotels and offices popping up there. It is changing so fast. So I highly recommend watching that if you enjoy uh, Miami development like this video. With that said, I'll catch you in the next one.